So, that's Bill. Margie's over here. She's right there. So those are my four-legged weed eaters. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea, <clears throat> we are AG dependent farms. Now what that means is we are alpha gal uh, dependent. And uh, my wife has alpha gal. And we are in the very beginning stages of creating a farm that will sell and have items for folks with alpha gal. Uh, chicken and ducks and emus and you name it, we're going to do it. Uh, all kinds of birds. But you got to start somewhere. And so we are here on my great granddaddy's farm that has not been lived in since 2013 and hasn't been farmed in over 50 years. And our goal is to take that and the acreage behind it, turn it into grass. We can raise animals and vegetables. <clears throat> we will be putting in a greenhouse here in the very near short future. And we will um, we'll eventually get this thing going. Now, I suspect uh, we're probably uh, six to eight months of clearing all the trees and uh, regrading everything and bringing it back to dirt so that we can plant grass. Because you can't have pasture-raised animals if you got no pasture. So that's the first steps. And I know goats aren't alpha gal friendly, but we have no intention of eating these goats. All we are doing is uh, allowing them to graze on our many acres of kudzu, and briars, and thicket. And that's their job. They will be uh, eating green stuff and helping me clear a path through all these woods. So uh, stick around. See what we bring to the table. Uh, some of it you might like. I'll try to do some uh, short uh, videos. Uh, if I can get the subscriptions up, I'll do some lives on YouTube. Uh, but uh, this is us, AG Dependent Farms. We're live. See ya.